Hi guys, Patrick here from iHelpWithMacs.wordpress.com. When I used to work at the Apple Store in Soho in New York, uh, I taught large workshops to uh, people of all ages and all backgrounds. And no matter where these people were coming from, no matter if we were talking about iTunes or iPhoto, the iPhone, the iPad, or even just the basics of their Mac, everyone, almost everyone, was concerned with security. And it tended to, it would really scare people uh, when they would see something on their Mac that they didn't recognize. They, I would get questions about who's hacking into my computer, who's looking at my stuff. Now, I don't want to say that those people are strange for having those thoughts, because we do live in an age where we have to be safe with technology. But sometimes we get scared when we don't need to. And sometimes the ability to share information between devices is actually beneficial to us. For instance, back in the day, if I wanted to show you something I had created, something I had seen, it usually involved someone carrying a bag with, on a horse or, you know, shipping something via train or plane or car. Nowadays, if I write a 1,000 page script I'm able to create a file that you can just simply download one way or another. So sharing, even though we have to be safe, is an amazing tool while we're using high-speed technology. But this is when we can start to get a little bit scared. For instance, let me show you. Right down here I have the Finder on my Mac. Now the Finder is a wonderful tool. If you're using a PC and you're thinking about getting a Mac, Finder is like my computer. When we click on the Finder, we can see every area of our Mac's brain. Anything that's inside of your Mac can be seen using the Finder. If I want to find something, I use the Finder. Okay. Now when we click on the Finder, the Finder has this wonderful tool that almost every application on your Mac has. It's called the Sidebar. The Finder Sidebar. The iTunes Sidebar. The iPhoto Sidebar. These sidebars are where we start navigating applications as soon as we open them. So right over here I see things like, um, for instance, uh, my current tasks folder is right inside of my finder sidebar. My documents folder is right inside of my finder sidebar. My applications folder is right inside of my finder sidebar. Or for you PC users, this would be applications are programs, okay? Just had to use a little bit of different language to confuse you as much as possible. Now when I scroll up and down through my sidebar, I get a little bit scared because there's this section called shared. Now let's be honest, sharing isn't fun. My son, who's three and a half years old, will tell me all the time, Daddy, you need to share when he wants something that I have. But when I say, son, you need to get, you need to give this to your buddy, you need to share it with him, he flips out. He hates sharing. And when it comes to our computers, where we hold our tax information and passwords and things like that, sharing terrifies us. Not only do we not want people to have what we have, we actually don't want people to mess around with our stuff. So let's talk about this shared section. Why do I see the names of other computers in this shared section? Here's a really good example of how to explain the shared section. Think about when you walk into a room. Can people see you? Yes. This shared section works the exact same way. When you are in a room or on the same network as other computers, they can see your computer name. But guess what? When we're in a room and people can see us, if someone walks up and says, hey, I want to talk to you. I want you to tell me something. I want to, you know, network with you. We have the option to do what? Ignore them. Turn around and walk away. And the same principles apply here. No, one, Even though people can see the name of our computer when we're on the same network as them, no one can access our information without usernames and passwords. Usernames and passwords. A great tool that keep people out of our email accounts, out of our chatting services, and even out 
of our computer. Now, like I say all the time, I'm a massive nerd. So a while back, my wife and I gave up cable. We just stopped paying for it. Why? Because we can watch shows on Netflix and on Hulu, and we can buy things via iTunes. So we have a computer plugged into our TV. This is something we can talk about in a whole nother video post way, way, way on down the road. But that computer is called Murphy, Patrick Murphy, Media and it's right over there. And you know what? Instead of using flash drives or disks to pass information between these two computers, I can actually select Murphy Media inside of my shared list, and since I know this computer's username and password, I can connect to it and access information from it at any time. So, for, so let's, let's rewind just a bit. Number one, when you see names inside of this shared area, inside of your Finder sidebar, don't worry. No one can see what you have on your computer unless you give them permission. So if you haven't been handing out your username and password to everyone you know or everyone you don't know, you're safe. Secondly, if you see a computer name there that you would like to network with, maybe it's a coworker in your office, maybe it's a friend, uh, a friend or a family member and you want to share photos with them, this is a really easy way to do it. So I'm going to click on Murphy Media. Now you'll notice how it says right here, connecting. Why does it say connecting? Because I have already entered in my username and password to, uh, to this area where it says disconnect. Earlier it said connect, I can click there, I've already entered in the username and password, that's stored in my computer, so now I have access. And notice, after just a couple of seconds, after clicking on this little shared section, I see not only what uh, that computer holds as far as files and folders and things like that, I actually see any devices that are plugged into this computer as well. So if I have a CD plugged into that computer, I can see what's on that CD. If I have a flash drive plugged into that computer, given a permission, I can see what's on that flash drive. So now I have this great and amazing sharing option, or nerds like me might call this networking, okay? So I click here where it says Murphy Media, boop, and that is the hard drive of this computer, and I see desktop or documents, okay? I see uh, uh, music. I could access my entire iTunes library here. Movies, music, etc. And when I want to actually say, hmm, can I share this file with you? All, I, I can use it like any other area of my Mac. Let me show you what I mean. Let's click here on the documents folder of the Murphy Media computer. I click on the documents folder. And I see a document in here that I want called About Stacks. How do I get it onto my computer? I simply click and drag, and when I let go, it will copy itself to my desktop. Isn't that easy? I can just click and drag and copy files or even entire folders from one computer to another. They're not plugged into each other, okay? They're on the same network, and that we're using usernames and passwords to actually access these items or access uh, the innards of this computer. So long story short, when you turn on your Mac and you open up this finder window and you see names of other computers right here and you think to yourself, who's spying on me? Relax. You're simply seeing the names of other computers on your network or you're actually seeing the names of other people that are in the same room as you. But if there is a computer you want to share, share with, for instance, the la I am a lazy American, sorry Americans, but I'll be sitting five feet away from my wife in our living room, which I'm in right now, and I'll say something like, hey babe, can I actually, uh, you know, have those photos that you um, uh, took today of when we went down to Coney Island? She'll say, sure. Do I have to pull out disks and cables and things to be able to pass information back and forth? Do we have to email? No. We could, but instead, I can see her name right here in my shared list. I can click on her name since, you know, uh, she's given me her username and password. I can connect to her computer and share information between the two devices. Isn't that great? Now, if you want to get a little bit more detailed when it comes to sharing, I just want to show you one more tip. Move down to your system preferences application and open it up. Now, you'll notice there's an entire section dedicated to sharing. If you really want to be safe, and by the way, let's click here. If you really want to be safe, you can actually turn off 
file sharing. Look at that. I can just uncheck file sharing. And if I want to file share, notice that I can actually decide which folders or even files I want to share with those who are connected to the same network as me and have the ability to access my files. Isn't that great? Now this may be a little too technical for some of you. I may have freaked a lot of you out. But what I really want to say in this whole demo is your stuff is safe. And you don't have to worry. You also have the ability to share your stuff, the things that you've been working on, the projects, the photos, the movies, the songs, with friends and family that are on the same network as you. Wireless, wirelessly transmitting data back and forth. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at ihelpwithmax at gmail.com and then check back to ihelpwithmax.wordpress.com if you have any questions or want to learn some other cool tips and tricks.